Yo, what's up guys? We got Pokegame here. Today we have another Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl OU showed on live. And it is the Manaphy Suspect Test Ladder. Manaphy can potentially be banned in OU. Now, what are you guys' thoughts on that? Should Manaphy be banned in the Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl OU tier? Let me know down below. Also, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm on my way to 300k. That is my end of the year goal. So if you do enjoy this content, I feel like you should subscribe. You know, I'm uploading two or three videos a day. Got a lot of stuff on this channel. So we got a a team from Just Want to See, and it's a really offensive squad, and we're going to go over it, and then I'm going to look over this thread, and then I'll give my thoughts as we're playing, and then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So, just Spike's offense. We have Custably Skarm, Bandit, Crawdon plus Dragonite, Taunt, Destiny Bond, Gengar, a Focus Sash, Focus Sash, Focus Sash, right? I might change the Alakazam, to be honest, but the idea is that you stop them from defogging, and then you try and sweep one of your priority mons at the end. So, it's an interesting team. Uh, again, I do think that if this was maybe Choice Scarf Gengar, this was Life Orb, and this was Life Orb, it could also still work. Or this being Focus Sash, I think is fine as well. But yeah, what are you guys' thoughts on Manaphy? Personally, I feel like if Latios was banned, then I think that Manaphy should be banned after. But I feel like the state of the metagame is kind of in a place where everything that's already being used in the metagame just naturally checks Manaphy and, what, and, and something else, right? So if you look at this tier, Alakazam is naturally faster and does a lot with plus one Psychic. It doesn't ki or just neutral Psychic. It doesn't KO, but it still does a ton of damage, right? And then you have a lot of Choice Scarf Rotoms running around right now. One of the best Choice Scarfers. You have Blissey, obviously, being able to stop it with Thunder Wave and whatnot. And Thunder Wave and Crawlin can mess it up. Unaware Kill Fable is something that runs around as well. Garchomp is fast and does massive damage. Spex Gengar does massive damage back too. Ben and Infernape does massive damage. You have both of the Lotties, right? Latios needs like barely any chip, if not at all, to knock it out with Spex Draco. It's a roll. Um, and then you have, like I said, Scarf Rotom already. Starmie's fast and can Thunderbolt. Weavile can at least hit it with a Throw Chop. Now, none of these are actually going to KO, or for the most part, they're not KOing Manaphy. But I don't think Manaphy's at this point where it's just setting up tail goals and straight up winning. I do not think at all that that's happening. And I feel like just... Even looking at other mons, right? Like, Scizor can take a plus three Surf if it wants to, and you turn out to get the designated damage you need on Manaphy to KO a Latios. Now, had Latios, the strongest special attacker we have in the tier, been banned, or one of the strongest special attackers we have in the tier, had it been banned, then I think that maybe the meta might shift to a point where Manaphy would be broken, but at the moment, it kind of just feels like it's all right, right? It's nothing overwhelming. Definitely it's bulk can be annoying, but if it's bulkier, then maybe it's not faster or maybe it can't do certain things. So I do know your thoughts. Uh, we'll read this at the end as well. And then uh, again, we're just gonna be playing some games on this suspect test. Oh, <laughs> I recognize that team from my opponent. That's the choice band Moffin team. And it's actually very threatening, pretty weak to Swords Ant, uh, Lucario though. So start off with Skarmory, get up hazards immediately. And <laughs> Okay. Okay, okay. We'll pause it. We'll be right back. I had to pause because I had, I had to laugh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. We, we got a really fun team right here by Temp. Uh, I love Taunt Gengar as a lead. It just like stops Smirgle from doing its thing. Holy crap, man. That's so funny. Or just get Shadow Ball here, be able to survive every hit, and then finish it off with a Sludge Bomb in the following turn, as they end up going Smeargle. So, I mean, that's why we went for the uh, Sludge Bomb there. Again, this is just, uh, these are just the lower ladder games, but I'm like, this is the best first game ever. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so, uh, Machamp comes out. I'm assuming they Bullet Punch here, so I'm going to go out to Skarmory just because, oh, they actually Stone Edge, so I could have actually knocked them out. Is that, I don't know, that's not Bandit, no. Get up our Stealth Rock as Rampardos come out, and I kind of like the idea of just getting up Spike first, just because Crawdon can kind of Aqua Jet everything in the end, so they go for Fire Blast there and unfortunately miss. I could easily go for Brave Bird and knock them out here. Maybe that is the best play, as opposed to a second layer of Spike. So I get a little lucky dodge there, obviously. Oh my god, can't believe... Why'd they say that? Oh man... Pokemon Showdown is just truly a fantastic place, man. It's just it's just truly a fantastic place. So, I guess, again, the idea behind it... Ooh, interesting. This could be Taunt. Uh, this is where maybe Scarf Gengar would be a little bit stronger, but I'm liking this. SD Lucario looks pretty strong in the late game here, too. Flygon is obviously a threat, but my stream speed is just really strong. Uh, Amapom, or... And the Bleeding Off with Lava Girl. 
Oh, is there a shark boy here too? Maybe flag on shark boy. They can also just be lava girl because it's a female heatran. I didn't want to taunt them because there's a chance that they were faster than me, obviously. So I'm not going to do something that can, you know, knock me out. Now, uh, maybe I regret not taunting them, but at the same time, they do not switch into Lucario's close combat at all. And everything that comes in a close combat dies to, uh, it dies to the next hit. I have inner focus as well, which is funny for Amapom. But yeah, close combat into extreme speed kills everything. So we get rid of a uh, Lava Girl right there. Now they do have the Starmie, which is problematic. Uh, they end up bringing this thing out. King Kong. Are they going to fake me out? Because I do have inner focus. This guy's a threat. I'll be real. This guy's a threat. And I kind of want to keep this guy alive as well. Because later I can SD up and win. So I think I'll go for that. Uh, we'll make the Gengar play. If they want to fake out, that's fine. If they want to brick break or anything like that. Like, I could have killed them. But... Oh, and they're adamant as well. That's awesome. So we end up uh, leaving uh, Amapom dead right there. Perfect. That's actually perfect. Gardevoir comes out. If we can get Curse Bound in that, that'd be awesome. If they go for Psychic, then I can get in Crawdle and just click Knock Off and we'll be good. And if they're not faster than me, they end up going for Shadow Ball. Huh. I mean, this is still my best play is to bring out uh, Crawdle here because we know they're Scarf. So they're going to die to Extreme Speed from either of my Pokemon. And Knock Off gets a kill right now. And I'm happy they ended up going Scizor because that's their Extreme Speed Resist. So now if they want to bring out Starmie and they want to Rabbit Spin, I'm going to kill them with Crawdle from that position. Uh, extreme speed should be able to finish off everything if they rapid spin in that scenario then they die they go flag on u-turn won't kill me unless they're banded yep so we ended up getting another kill there too perfect and we're just setting up for that e-speed end game yeah we're really setting up for that e-speed end game the fact they gave me this is nice too and i have dazzling gleam on my uh, zam to just do a little bit of damage plus be faster than starmie so starmie comes out or flag on either or doesn't make a difference yeah they u-turn here they bring out starmie I simply bring out Alakazam because I have uh, Shadow Ball. It doesn't kill, and if they Ravage when they get the speed. Oh, actually, I, I get. Damn. Damn, Zam. <laughs> hey, bro. I <laughs> was just dazzling gleam here. They, basically, by having these guys alive, by having this plus this alive, there was no move that Flagon could lock itself into that could win. I think it just gave up and trying to U turn out the game. I just like dazzling gleam on Zam, but in this scenario, it actually ends up working. I guess you don't want to miss versus, like, Weavile and whatnot. But I don't know. I was trying to think like what would be the best team to use just for kind of early games because the plan is get a lot of games here and then also stream as well as much as I can. The suspect test run. I was watching my buddy Blim do it. He almost did it undefeated. It was it was it was beautiful to watch. Like it was actually beautiful. I was rooting for him, but yeah, there was a lot of a lot of great stuff down on his channel. We're tall here because this is a threat. They end up being slower. Luckily, I don't like bulky Gyarados too much this meta game. I feel like it's not that strong. Um, I'm going to spike because no matter what they do, I'll be good. I mean, this is fine too because I'll, I'll Brave Bird them and I don't really have to worry. If they want to hit me, that's good. I bust a potential Sash and I get rid of uh, a Giant Threat. I actually put myself in a position to knock them out with Skarmory itself, which is pretty cool. So we pick up the KO there. Uh, I do have my Alakazam, but I want to go Taunt. I want to go Taunt uh, Gengar instead, right? Because I want to force them to attack me and then knock this guy out and then extreme speed sweep them. That's basically how I'm going to win this game, right? You use Taunt to prevent the defog. Wow, I actually get a nasty crit. That was like fully physically defensive. I've never seen a neutral Shadow Ball KO. I'm not bad about that. I wouldn't have even had the Destiny Bomb, which is pretty cool. Jolteon comes out. We simply Sludge Bomb as they miss. As I dodge a Thunder Wave. Watch me get the poison too. Uh, it wasn't one of those. It wasn't one of those. E speed looks hella good here. Lucario can't be flinched, which is awesome as well. ESP will knock this guy out too, so. They go for Thunder Wave so they can try and maybe set up with their uh, Gyarados, which is fine. Like I said, I have multiple Sashes, multiple priority. So I don't think anything can sweep me at this point. Just Sludge Bomb here. They Dragon Dance up. There we go. They're going to knock... Well, they're not even knocking me out. Honestly, my Gengar might win this exchange. 1v1. Yep. Look at that Focus Sash. All because of Glide Score. Oh, okay, cool. I mean, that's... That's fine. You know what I'm worried about? Random fake out from in front of it, but that won't even matter. I basically just bring out this. I have inner focus so they can't flinch me. I SD up. And I should be able to knock out Inferno. And uh, I mean, Ludicolo on faster than, so I just close combat, but. E speed knocks you out. This, this kind of reminds me of that UU team I use with Sash offense in a tournament, and it was like really, really fun. They don't have fake out. Awesome. We knock them out of plus two. The Sash. The Sash is just coming through, man.
Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You love to see it. You love to see it. So, again, this should be a lot of quick games. Ooh, okay, so this is a threat. Because they have Espeon. Very threatening Espeon team. Uh, and they have Manaphy as well. So this actually might be kind of scary. But I do have a stream speed, and I love Gengar because it can simply Shadow Ball something. If they want to Psychic me, that's fine. This trade is actually decent for me, right? Like, if I can get rid of the Pokemon that stops me from sweeping... <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, well, I do actually, oh, that's nice, nice, so, I mean, it was a speed tie, and now it's not, they got, also could be running, like, random no speed, like, I use 334 speed Espeon sometimes, but that was in UU, I right, we want a speed tie again, so, they do have priority mons, obviously, that can set up on me if they want to, uh, we're going to taunt Scizor, that way it cannot set up, that's fine, we bring out you, and we get up our Stealth Rock hi here, higher, <laughs> get up Stealth Rock just for Cloyster mainly, Manaphy is whatever versus me. I get. I have extreme speed. I have a lot of ways, I think, of dealing with this. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not worried about this guy setting up. Just simply because my team is really strong. We're gonna get up as many spikes as possible. I guess the the biggest threat to me. The biggest threat to me. I just taunt it just in case they're sub. But the biggest threat to me, I feel like, is Gart Chomp if it's Scarf. But gonna Brave Bird here. And do a good chunk to them. As they are most likely the... Uh, as they are most likely the... Uh, what's it called? They shouldn't be able to outrage me because I have this guy, this guy, and this guy. Salic Berry. So, close combat here. Live their hit. There we go. Do we see the Salic Berry activate? Yep. I could have SD, but I didn't think I knocked them out at plus two at E-Speed, truthfully. So... This Mon goes down. Obviously, Scizor is going to come out and click Bullet Punch, most likely. Uh, their own Lucario could come out as well. As long as I can Aqua Jet plus Extreme Speed them, I think I'll be good. And I have to, like I said, I have Sash, Alakazam in the back. So, this endgame is going to be interesting. There's no point in getting Chip off on them. Simply because they die to everything. This endgame is going to be interesting, though. If I do this, mm, trying to think what's the best. Way. I, I have to click Outrage here. Because Outrage is going to knock them out no matter what, right? But I'm trying to think, like, what stops Garchomp from coming in revenge killing me and then me losing to Scizor after? Oh, never mind. They went Scizor first. Okay, this stops it. Perfect. <laughs> like, literally, best case scenario. And then it comes down to who, who they go first. Yeah, because they want the wrong Pokemon. Trying to think if it's better to keep my priority mon alive. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go this just in case they bullet punch here. They should. Yep, because I need a little bit of extra chip. I think on Garchomp to knock it out with Zam, and I have Dragonite. Hopefully, out of range of Cloyster. I don't know though. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong with my priority here. But I definitely think I needed. Uh, I needed to have one of my priority mons plus this. So Garchomp comes out. I'm going to Aqua Jet just for a little bit of chip. That way I can knock it out with Dazzling Gleam. If it's not Scarf, it should be Scarf. Oh my god, there's so much damage. What the hell? Oh, sick. And now I can just go out to you, click E-Speed, and then I E-Speed twice on Cloyster. If they Shell Smash up, they die anyway, and they're going to take too much for the miss anyway. So this basically means I keep my Sash intact for Alakazam. I think I, I think I made the right end game. This is going to do too much as well. This is to a KO. That's why we get that spike up. This is going to be a little bit scary. Yeah, the Ice Spear there. And then I go Zam. Unless there's Scarf. <laughs> I think I win. If I had Focus Blast, I'd click it here just because. Nice. So we ended up beating the Espeon. Nice. I did win two speed uh, I did win two speed ties though. So. Oof. Okay. They're definitely getting up hazards versus me. But rocks are still very important just for weakening Lottie and whatnot. Mmm. This is banded. I think if I SD up with Lucario, I'm pretty good versus them. I can't actually switch. So I'm just going to Brave Bird here. Let him knock me out. Bring out Lucario. SD up. I had the Focus Sash. I don't really have an E speed switching either. I feel like I kind of just went with this, don't I? Because I definitely. I SD up here. If they go Lottie, right? And I SD up again. 
Because if I get plus four, I think I win too. Unless their Magnus on a scarf, which I guess I would have to play around, but it looks like Lucario just SDs up and wins. Oh my god, they did so much damage. Bro, does this not die? I hope you die. <laughs> I know you have no defense. I just want to make sure you die. Oh my god. Bro, I'm getting smashed by beat up Weavile. Holy crap. By Aqua Jet, and they go that. I don't have a way of knocking out you. Bro, you and click extreme speed. This is this guy has to be my wing con for sure because its E speed is so strong. Yeah. We easily go we have to go crawl on here. E speed is like the way to do it. They ice shard, thankfully. I am not predicting in front of this threat. Hell no, we are we are not. This is the rocker as well. Hell no, hell no. So depending on what they bring out, I stay in and hit them. This guy I stay in and hit just for extreme speed range. It can mock punch me, but I obviously get to bring out my uh oh okay okay this makes it a little bit easier they force palm me to knock me out i bring out you and i shadow ball okay this definitely makes it a little bit easier but i'm actually really worried about these two unless they have stone maybe maybe they'll go ladios next okay they go zone which is nice because i need the damage that's the damage i need for zam to knock it out perfect i think we're good I have Dragonite and multi scale. This guy's good. Uh, Lottie could be Scarf. Nope. I'm going to taunt the Lottie just in case it has something to Thunder Wave me or Draco, whatever. I don't care what it is. And we're just simply going to Shadow Ball. Then we bring out you and literally click Outrage. Because if they switch to Infernape, they die. And if they go back to Lottie, they can't kill me through multi-scale. So, that should be a win, I think. Yum. Oh my god, they didn't even do half. Good game. I know multi-scale has it, but that's that means that it would not have killed me from full. That's insane how much that did. <laughs> like, <laughs> I love Latias though, because it's really bulky, but scam likely. Oh, damn. But the Huntail, too. Alright, Scarm, let's do our ting. Gonna attempt to win a speed tie here and taunt them. Fine, we'll get up our rocks. Huntail should be fine. Uh, as long as I get up my hazards, I'm good. Tyranitar comes out. Let's see. Let's see if we wake up. We do not. Let's see if we can taunt them. Please. I would like no sashes. I would like. Alright, they dragon dance. I can't do anything about that, so that's whatever. I have. Actually, I have sashes. What am I saying? So I'm just gonna get up as many hazards as possible. I don't care about you <laughs> at all. I'm getting up hazards, yeah. Hazards are for sure my way of beating this. Dude, do whatever you want. Keep hitting me. Keep dragon dancing. Like I don't have Aqua Jet in the end of the day. I will get up every... There is no way I lose to this thing. I have Sash. Alright. We taunt now so we can't get that, that, that final dragon dance. Outplayed. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I mean, we're good, right? I get a crit there. I think Aqua Jet actually KOs because of the crit. Otherwise, I was going to go out to all their leftovers. Never mind. I don't think Aqua Jet KOs. Oh, we'll bring out you. Inner focus. They can't even be rock side and beat me down. So I love this hit. What if they go for Stone Edge and don't even break my Sash? Like, they miss. Imagine. They over crunch, which wouldn't have even kill me, which is super funny. <laughs> that, is, that is very funny. <laughs> that is the weakest plus five Tyranitar I've ever seen in my life. Wild. I'm assuming they go Gliscor now. Oh, they actually end up going Brillin, which is great because I get a beautiful hit off on this thing. Mock Punch. I simply bring out you and I go for Shadow Ball. We have Aqua Jet for these guys in the back. Aqua Jet looks crazy. Glasgow might even be 2 AKO just because it hasn't taken anything. Ooh, they go out to Sash Zam. No. What? Well, they went to Zam. It died, obviously, but what the hell? And the Bro. Bro. Hazards. You gotta look for them. Anyway, they lose to the Aqua Jet, so. I just taunt this guy. I'm Aqua Jet the last guys. But you know what? Forget it. I'm keeping your Sash intact, too, just because you look really strong here. 
This is Outrage. Yeah, I want to keep its Destiny Bond for Gliscor without having to predict. And if Gliscor comes out now and opts to Defog, it, it dies. Nice. Team's well. Uh, team's going pretty well. Team's going pretty well. I mean, we are in lower ladder and it is hyper offense, so we're getting more games than most of my life. This one's going to be scary. Uh, definitely want to get up hazards as quickly as possible. My uh, Gengar is going to be very key here. Bandit Outrage is really strong too. So we go Skarm. This looks like a Blim team with like Sash, Gengar. I'm probably wrong though. Let me check. Because uh, basically this is going to be... The thing is like Sash... Tile exam is interesting because it stops Scizor from defogging. I mean, but, and also sitting up, obviously, but it doesn't have the strong hit versus Scizor, which is something that Gengar has, and Gengar, I'm gonna need it to kill things like Gliscor and stuff. I really feel like this is the Blim team, though. Maybe I'm wrong. Because this, this is a team I hella use. Not there. What about here? Nope. Use this tech for easy points. That's what I'm looking at. It says use this tech for easy points. Oh, it just looks like the team. Huh. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Because I need hazards up in this one to win, I think. Alright, we break right here. It's fine. Oh, actually, I'm going to beat the Gengar 1v1. Because I get my cut step. They should expect that. I'm going to go out into Crawdon. It's safe. They might go Heatran. I basically want to guarantee hazards, you know? Nice. All right, so we get up Stealth Rock here, which is what I want. <laughs> I need Chip on Latios to win the game with uh, Zam and stuff. So perfect. Bring out you. Going to go for Shadow Ball here because Sludge Bomb could easily KO Tangrowth. They should go something like Heatran. Exactly. Hmm, try to think. I just taunt so they can't set up hazards. I'm trying to think though, like beating Gly score is gonna be annoying. This game's gonna be really hard. I'm gonna taunt either way though. Maybe they'll double it anticipating like Dragonite to come out. They go for Magma Stone, which is fair. I'm a Destiny Bunk because it's how my Alec is in. Nice, okay, so we get rid of that, perfect. That gives me Zam. <sighs> this, is, this is tough, man. This endgame is gonna be tough. Okay, we obviously Shadow Ball here. Every bit of chip on this guy is gonna help me out. Scarf Shadow Ball. Cardot lives. And can Aqua Jet. I'm gonna go for Aqua Jet this time. Aqua Jet to knock out Latios. Perfect. This end game's gonna be rough, man. Alright. My hope is that they knock me off here. I need to keep my Sash and Tag, man. I'm just gonna go Zam. Screw it. Like if they're gonna do that play, like I won't take it. Nice. So we psychic here, do a million percent. As they knock me out with knock off. And I believe I bring out you. And click choice been outraged to knock out Tangro. They go Glass they take too much. They take way too much from this. Oh my god. That's actually better for me. That's better for me, because now I can switch up moves and not lose to Gengar plus them. I go hard Lucario because if they're SD, I'm good. My opponent was banded. I'm just going to Meteor Mash in case they go Gengar. Uh, basically, it was the win-win, because after that, even if I missed, I just bring out Dragonite, and because they unlocked me, I can click Fire Punch, and then everything will win. So, nice. That was a wild game, and I'm glad that I make the plays to win, because my opponent definitely knew what they were doing, right? But I'm, I'm glad, like, all the techs work, and I'm glad I made the plays to win that game, because that, uh, that was a scary one, man. That was a scary one. Oh, my laundry's almost done. My laundry's almost done. Damn. Uh, okay. 
That should be good. Again, another hazards game for sure. Uh, the Sash is going to be insane in this game. I want to find out if there's Scarf Magnus on. If it's Scarf, it's actually a little bit more annoying um, than, than anything else. But man, SD Lucario goes crazy. So that's why Stealth Rock is going to be really key. Please be Life Orb. That's why Stealth Rock are going to be key because they chip away at Latios to the point where plus two extreme speed can knock it out. Going to taunt them. In case they want to get a Brox, does they Magma Storm me? Perfect. That should be a free Lucario and a free close combat. Don't got to predict anything here. All right, so we get rid of a giant threat. Salamence comes out. I think I just Meteor Mash. Yeah, I couldn't switch. Hey, I mean, I, I knocked them out with my other move after anyway, so I mean, I'm okay with that, obviously. Oh, but then they ended up going Latios to get Extreme Speed it, which I don't think was the play. Yeah, I don't think that was the play. I do not I do not agree with that play, man. Because like, then you let yourself get uh, too weakened. Booty Slayer. <laughs> hey, they know what they like. Outrage looks hella good here. They have Defog this, so Taunt's going to be nice. SD Lucara looks really nice with a bunch of hazards up, so we're going to get up as many as we can. This guy could Dragon Dance up, but it's whatever. They're banded, looks like. Spike up, I value a little bit more. I value Spike a little bit more, so. Because now I can just go Crawdon and click Knock Off. Because I already break its multi-scale, right? So Knock Off is going to kill something. If they go in Polion, they die. They go a paddle and they get two a KO'd. Like this is, I, I definitely valued the uh, the right thing there. I think, and that's perfect. So that's their defogger. So my hatches will be here to stay. So could be, and they were focus dash. This is a DVP team. I just realized that. This is a straight up DVP team. Like a, like I mean actually, with multiple DVP leads, Sash and Polion, maybe Life Orb Glade, Sash Tyranitar. Uh, what do I don't want to make here. What play do I want to make here? Because Aqua Jet sweeps them, so I don't want to throw this away. Sludge Bomb, Thunderbolt. What play do I want to make? I'll go Dragonite. It's fine. It's not that necessary. Yeah, I had a feeling they'd go for Thunderbolt. So, you click Outrage here. Choice Man Outrage to Ikeo's Hippo easily. Especially with Hatches up. And that's one of the bigger threats for my Lucario. Oh, there's not even Sand on their team. Cool. I don't even know how they kill this thing. They have to go out into their own. And I hope I win that speed tie and just kill him <laughs> like right back. Because Tyrantar dies as well. If it's it's offensive, it dies. They do win a speed tie, which is a little bit scary. Okay. Just gonna dazzling gleam. I survive every hit because of my focus sash. Awesome. They're locked in. So I can go for another one, knock them out. Perfect. Alright. I'm pretty sure it's scarf. The aqua jet aqua just sweep is what I'm going for, right? Aqua Jet Sweep is what I'm going for. So, Gengar already dies. I don't gotta worry about that. And I have my own Sash Gengar as well to deal with theirs. And I can taunt the Tyranitar. This guy just go for taunt. Stop them from Dragon Dancing up. Actually, was it better to Dazzling Gleam there just because they can Aqua Jet them? I don't know. But, we're not gonna miss here. We're just gonna go for Close Combat. This literally looks like they just picked... Like six viable DVP leads. Like legitimately. Gengar comes out. Let's see if we land. It'd be nice if we did. We're not even sure what they go for because we have Crowd on the back. They just Shadow Ball, which is smart. We do manage to land. Awesome. And all I gotta do is extreme speed the Gallade. As long as Sand's gone, I win the game anyway. Even if they're bulk up or do whatever, I do too much. Psycho cut there. And uh, Sand ends here. So, I mean, Shadow Ball's going to KO anyway. Yep, and I'll live because of my Focus Sash. Beautiful. All right. I think that's a good place to end it. So, overall, what do you guys think about Manaphy? Only fought one. I mean, I was able to muscle through it with faster Pokemon. Exactly what I mentioned, right? Like, I had hazards, but more importantly, I knew what I had to do, right? I had my priority mods, and I had my faster Pokemon, which ended up beating it 1v1. Um, it looks like Manaphy has been possibly the single most notorious Pokemon in the tier along, among the wider community since the very start. It's hard. Let's see why. It was great coverage, solid uh, stats, potent, pure water typing, and actually tail glow. It was set to be a threat from the get. Its bulk and defensive typing stands out amongst wall breakers of its caliber. I think that's a big thing, right? Like, it, obviously, like I said, even in my video, 
right? I was able to show you. It did take multiple hits to beat Manaphy, but I did beat it, right? I didn't get straight up swept by it. It was said to be a threat. We get allowing it to survive monsters just like Specs Lyos to Dragon Meter when given HP investment. This bulk often gives it the opening it needs to set up once, after which it can Oko the vast majority of the tier. As such, it is quite difficult to prevent Manaphy from getting at least a single KO when it hits the field, which many see as fundamentally unhealthy. I, okay, I don't agree with that because I think that there's multiple Pokemon that is hard to prevent them from getting a KO. Specs Gengar. For one, like clicks hex and it Oko's Glide Score, and that's like the main switching. Spidef Scissor gets two a KO by Shadow Ball. You know, so that's one mon for sure, right? Crawl very similarly as well. Provided it uh picks the right Pokemon, I guess. Whoops, I just bumped into a box. So Manaphy has a decent amount of flexibility to its staple sets, which consists of Tail Glow, Surf, Ice Beam, and Energy Ball. It can be ran with HP or Speed Investment, which both options have distinct upsides and being well suited to different offensive styles like Sticky Web and Screens, respectively. Its item slot is flexible too, while Leftovers is the most common choice. The likes of Walk On, Salic, Quick Call, <laughs> and several other niche items have been used to decent success, as Manaphy is very unreliable on its item to do its job. Even other moves such as Rain Dance to boost Surf and activate Hydration, Skill Slot to bypass Unaware, I think that one is way less likely because i think that's way too situational and if you want to be unaware anyway with manaphy in my opinion you just you know you, you pile it on with hazards plus scissor plus gengar so you're good versus cloth and substitute to more easily enable salic berry and his prediction has been used effectively that's fair however it is important to note that manaphy almost never sweets well-built teams period i think that's there the nail on the head versus more offensive teams the meteor base one speed is reliant on setting up due to uh, poor immediate power it means that it typically gets chipped while setting up yep enabling it to be picked off by foes like latios gengar garchomp alakazam star um, as much and more such as decently viable raikou the former two often run choice specs and thunderbolt makes them especially effective range kills and manaphy from very high health and latios is immune to sticky web manaphy is sometimes supported by manaphy requ uh, manaphy's requirements set up in order to get anything done means it's Easy for offensive teams to pressure on the setup turn, making it difficult for Manaphy to stay healthy enough. And you guys saw that in this video itself. Versus Stall, Santa Manaphy is quite easily shut down by Unaware Clef, ironically making Stall the safest play style versus Notorious Wallbreaker. While Skill Swap or Rain Dance Manaphy can cause issues for certain Stall teams, dropping one of Manaphy's coverage moves can severely impact its threat level in other matchups. Exactly. You don't know what you're going to fight whenever you fight in battle, right? So you don't always want to run Rain Dance plus Rest. Skill Swap Manaphy will fall flat if Stall player can switch Clefable out and then bring it back in, especially if they have Mantine or Healthy Blissey to pivot through. Rain Dance Manaphy can have issues with which support uh, protect Clefable stalling it for a bit, and both are totally invalidated by Precision Skull, which without extremely well played hatch support. Of course, while Unaware Clefable is great on stall, regardless, you can be argued that Manaphy off of forcing it to be ran on stall is unhealthy. It could be argued that Manaphy all but forcing it to be ran on stall is unhealthy. I think that's a that's not a true sentence. Uh, they're arguing that uh, Manaphy makes Unaware Clefable be on stall. Uh, I mean, I could think of quite a few Pokemon in OU that actually make Unaware Belly Dramazu, SD Breloom, Crawlant, which it takes on, Dragon Dance Dragonite, and Banded Dragonite, set up for Alligator, <laughs> which Tangrowth deals with anyway, SD Garchomp, which is a big one too, Combine Lottie variants, I don't think that's a fair sentence, and we Weavile, I don't think that's a fair sentence at all, uh, even SD Scissor variants, uh, Clefable could just run Flamethrower too, so I don't, I don't think that's fair. And I don't think that supports Manaphy at all. I think there's way too many Pokemon in the metagame that make Unaware Clefable incredible. Manaphy just happens to be one of them. And necessary to stall? No, because it's... Unaware Clefable is necessary to stall for what I mentioned, right? It, it deals with Dragonite. It deals with all the physical set mods. Additionally, more balanced and therefore slow team struggle versus Manaphy. The speed tier isn't very strong as handled prior to Manaphy entering battle. These teams are considered very viable in the current metagame in general, though, with them typically facing vulnerabilities to several other fast Pokemon like Latios, Gengar, and Alexander. However, Manaphy is probably still the biggest cul uh, cul culprit, excuse me, couldn't talk for a sec, in the low viability. It should also be known that Manaphy faces competition in his roles. A water type breaker, it competes with Azu, Crawl, and Feraligator, which respectively offer similar setup potential and fairy typing, nuclear power, and amazing sweeping potential with Dragon Dance. All three notably boost a better matchup versus Stall as their raw power lets them bypass Clefable. Yep. Uh, though, I mean, Clef plus for Alligator is different. Um, but banded, banded variants, yeah. And their priority or speed boosting makes them similarly potent, if not better versus offensive teams. Azumarill for Alligator even fit on similar styles. The former enjoy both screens and webs, and the latter is a screen staple. As a fast, special setup sweeper, Manaphy faces competition for the likes of Gengar, Alakazam, and Hamai, Latios, and Latios. None of these matchups are a combination of bulk and coverage Manaphy possesses, though, which leaves Manaphy distinctly unique. In summary, Manaphy is a notably bulky setup sweeper that regularly claims at least one KO per battle. Although, although it's often quite simple to limit to the single KO. I'm sorry, I'm thinking about that first battle again. <laughs> I can't. 
just think of what that person said to me. Oh man. <laughs> Single KO of everything. Already great Pokemon like Latios, Garchomp, and Gengar revenge killing it. Teams with weaker speed control, such as the ones that rely on priority or choice scarf users, can struggle more with handling Manaphys unless they opt to run Unaware, Clef, or Manti. Uh, no, Scarf Bradley was also viable. While Manaphy is one, uh, not the council's biggest concern currently, we can respect people considering it an unhealthy presence and would like to respect our promise by holding a suspect test. I honestly don't think Manaphy is overwhelming at all. I mean, they talked about how to beat it for sure, and it's not like it actually, like I said before, it's not making certain Pokemon be used because of it. No, Underwear Clef is not used on stall just for Manaphy, right? I, first of all, you can use Combine Blissey in that case too if you want. Just if you. It, just for Manaphy, you'd say Combine Blissey, right? That would be an example of a Pokemon that's just for a specific Pokemon. Though I guess technically that also helps with Gengar and stuff too, but Blissey will always be it anyway as long as that Shadow Ball. Um, I don't think it's uh, like a, a quote-unquote unhealthy presence. I, I I don't think I've ever been swept by it just simply setting up unless my team was bad, right? Period. And they even said that. Like, unless your team did not have uh, ample speed tiers, right? And like, it's not... And Scarfers that are also running around the tier, Scarf Rotom, Scarf Breloom, are also strong versus it too so it's like i don't see it necessarily as the biggest threat i don't think it should be ko uh like straight up gone i do think that if latios was banned yes manaphy should be banned just because latios is arguably the most uh, splashable answer to it simply because latios beats everything in the tier uh, even can beat scissor in certain situations so when paired with magnazone or with spikes up so like because we have that Pokemon alive, because the metagame naturally checks it, I don't see Manaphy as this giant demon that should be banned, personally. I, I want to even look at my the teams that we're using as well. So, BDSPOU. Let's get this out of here. This was for Wi-Fi. I recorded with this for Sunday. That's tomorrow's video. wrote top 10 with Blim. Fantastic. And this one, we also did a Manaphy on this build. On this team, we obviously ran Bolt because it allowed it to uh, deal with Adam and Lucario, be a check to it. I think this was like a good example of it, but it's not like Manaphy's Bulk was what was letting us beat Latios and stuff. I mean, we have a Thunder Wave, Shadow Ball Blissey, so this is our answer for Gengar. We have Thunder Wave, uh, Defensive, Togekiss, so we can eat hits from like for Alligator and Lucario if we need be. We had like faster options versus it too. Bandit Brillum's incredible as well, like Mach Pusher's just so much. I don't know. I, most of these teams have at least ways of dealing, right? We have Scarf Mag plus uh, Life Orb Starmie and a faster Weavile. So yeah, Manaphy is going to do a lot because we're running a freaking Moth. And, but even then, uh, this one similarly, these two Scarfers, while they can't both KO, even like Thunder Wave, that's my dog, sorry. Even like uh, Thunder Waving Latios or Thunder Waving it with Scarf Magnezone could let Crawdont Revenge kill it too. So I don't think there's like, I don't think it's at the point where, yeah, Manaphy just straight up sleeps teams. If anything, the best team Manaphy is versus is this one because we have a stupid cast form. <laughs> Even with, but Max Special Defense Scissor still takes plus three and almost gets it in range of Starmie. It has to set up for free. Also, Tolikus, it only sets up for free in front of cast form, which is funny. And even though we can hit it with Energy Ball. So, like, it's... On this one as well. On this particular stall team, we had Thunder Wave Blissey plus Unaware Clef. But Unaware Clef was also options versus Dragonite plus Magnazone teams, which slaughtered us because we don't have Shetshell and Scarm. Yeah, so I don't think Manaphy is that personally, like just the Mon that's just straight up sweeping from the get and it's so much of a problem that, yeah, this Mon needs to be banned because it is impossible to deal with. Again, like they mentioned, when the Mon sets up, it's almost it's hard to not give it a KO. Sure, but a lot of Pokemon can say the exact same thing, right? Nasty Block Gengar picks up a KO no matter what, as long as it lands an attack. Well, I mean, even, it doesn't even have to land an attack, right? If it's Sludge Bomb, like it'll do enough for Crawdon. Doing enough for Weavile type of thing. Uh, same thing with Zam. Kind of hard to give it. If, if it. if it lands Focus Blast versus Scizor, it sweeps everything. <laughs> like, literally. But again, we have priority in the metagame. We have Scarfers that are still good versus that too. So, I do want to know your overall thoughts. Do you believe that Manaphy should be banned? Do you believe that Manaphy... I think the suspect is fair. I do think if enough of the community wants something. And though I, th I think a lot of the people wanted this back when Latios as well was in the the process of being suspect tested because i feel like they are i feel like this is similar to like latios plus salamence back in the day in gen 4 where one of them felt busted because the other one was busted and you already have to deal with latios dropping dracos and doing certain things whereas man if he could just clean up the rest or at least force it in and pick up ko's but yeah, overall, I don't think Manaphy is uh, necessarily broken. We'll see as I continue my suspect test climb if I think that changes. 
But uh, as always, let me know your thoughts, guys. Leave them down below. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like, subscribe. If you want to pick up Pokemon Legends Arceus, which is about to come out, if you want to pre-order. I know some people don't like pre-ordering. That's fine. I, I pre-order just because I know I'm going to get the game. Uh, feel free to use my Best Buy link down below. If you want to pick up anything from Best Buy, you actually support me using my links down below. Like, you can click on the Pokemon link and then buy a book, you know? And you'll be supporting me. So, yeah. Also, feel free to pick up BDSP using my links. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, my friends.